We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, welcome back to another figure review. We're looking at one from the 30th anniversary collection. One I've finally been able to track down for my Clone Wars 2003 sort of era part of my shelving uh, display. Uh, Roran Korob, part of the 2003 Clone Wars. He was part of the crew, the, the group of Jedi that went to attempt to foil General Grievous's kidnapping of uh, Chancellor Palpatine. So I did get this for a pretty damn good price on eBay. He has gone up in, in price over the years. I, I got him straight off that card. And there he is as he appears in the show. It was really, really cool. I, lo I still love the 30th anniversary collection. As you can see there, it says, Roran Korob takes on the duties of a senior general during the Clone Wars, along with his Jedi compatriots, Shark T and Fal Mudama. Roran is assigned to protect the Supreme Chancellor Palpatine from General Grievous, but despite his skill and bravery, Roran is killed by the cyborg general in his unrelenting push to capture Palpatine. The bellowing battle roar. Such a memorable moment. Yeah, fantastic. Some other figures in the line. I do have all of those except for that 3PO. And he's sort of a little bit unique. You have the little eye popping out. It comes with Slash's Crumb. But yeah, I do have the rest of these. Great figures in the 30th anniversary collection. Really, really cool. So I'm just going to pop that back there. It does come with the coin, which is always a nice, nice addition. I don't have the album. I do need to find the coin album. So I've got a little stack of these coins, but yeah, nowhere really good to put them. So on the back, Clone Wars 1997, sorry, 1977 to 2007. Hard to believe that this was almost 20 years ago. 30th anniversary collection. Wow. So here is the figure. Um, I do have him pegged, pegged down. So we'll do the peg test straight away. We normally try and do with the three and three quarter inch figures when applicable. So he does does peg on nicely, as most of the old figures do. So here he is. So accessory wise, he does come with the lightsaber, which is. The same kind of lightsabers that are coming that came with the Macquarie concept figures. So yeah, they're very, very sort of unique. They got that flare to them at the base. Very interesting lightsaber hilt. It's just a cool way to 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 do with these these figures now. You can kind of see there is a white a white inner tube and then the sort of the pale blue going around that sort of white tube in the middle because you can just sort of see the tip poking through no jokes there people please so yeah interesting but in terms of the figure he looks great really really cool probably my one only little gripe is the elbow articulation but it was 2007 that was still a a feature that was sort of wasn't phased out just yet they were sort of there was just sort of getting towards the end of these swivel elbows, which you know didn't didn't encompass the entire line. It was just a lot of figures. A lot of figures did have them sort of through that two thousand five to two thousand seven era. So yeah, you're wearing occasionally have a little pop out like that, a little arm blowout, but you know it is what it is. That's that's probably my only little gripe, but otherwise this figure still still holds up today in my opinion. I think he looks fantastic. I love the detailing on that head sculpt. He 
He's got his mouth, one of his mouths on the side there. Such a, you know, we've had hammerhead since 1977, almost at 90 again. That's how, that's how old it feels. <laughs> Obviously with the original hammerhead in the vintage line. But it's still such a unique looking looking alien. The Jedi robes look good. Some nice nice weathering and detail on the figure as well. Just a few, just very faint washes over the over the Jedi robes, just to give it a little bit of extra texture. But all the little details on the belt are nice, touches of silver. The pockets and pouches and little stim canisters and all that kind of thing looks good. The hands are cool. He will hold the lightsaber pretty well. So it must be dangerous having a head that sticks out that way. You must must be limited to some kind of lightsaber combat where you're not bringing it past your face too much. <laughs> it's one false move and that's going whoop, straight through. So yeah, I'm excited to set this one up with um, Fal Muldama. I do need to find a, a Shark T, but I might I might get my Shark T from Revenge of the Sith and put that with my Clone Wars figures because it's a little bit more accurate. Despite the uh, the deleted scene, she didn't really show up in Revenge of the Sith at all, did she? Maybe in the background somewhere, but she, yeah, she certainly didn't have any sort of main parts um so yeah she may get shifted over to my clone wars 2003 clone wars sort of shelf let's be there with roron and fal mudama so i love the pants love the feet really nicely done So we'll go through the articulation as well. It does just have that swivel on the head. It does have ball hinges in the shoulders, or, you know, swivel elbows. It just swivels in the wrists there. There's a swivel in the waist. Swivels in the hips. Hinge in the knees, and then ball and socket joints in the feet. You can pop those feet out. But yeah, really, really thrilled to have this guy in the collection. Talking to mate, good good buddy Brian, uh, Metal Jedi. He picked this one up about a month ago. It sort of inspired me to continue my hunt. Get back on the get back on the wagon for the for Roar and Korob. One of the one I've been sort of looking for for ages. But yeah, just sort of. When he picked that figure up, it sort of yeah definitely renewed my renewed my hunger for this guy. So thanks, Brian. I appreciate that. It's nice to have him in my collection. So it's not always nice to go back and check out some older figures that I've missed over the years. I do try and make an effort to fill some gaps, especially in between waves of new stuff. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you think. Please send down the comments below. We'll see you again with some more reviews and videos very soon. Till then. May the force be with you always.